What you're going to be watching is a video about the sous vide technique of cooking. This is something I've kind of been dabbling in, but I've, I think I have it per perfected to a T. And I'd like to thank James Strange. He's the one that kind of walked me through the technique. If I haven't said later, there's a link in the description that goes over cooking times. But anyway, what we did was I cooked a tri-tip. I cooked it to perfection. Here is where we got to with this. Now watch the rest of the vid video to see how we got there. Anyway, thanks for sticking in. everybody? This is Lyle with No Hippie Barbecue. And what I'm going to do today is show you that you can actually cook with the sous vide method without actually spending all that money on the machine. One thing you're definitely going to need to do this is you're going to need a vacuum sealer. I have a crock pot that I could dial the temperature in on, but I did notice that I had a pan or a pot back here full of water. I've had that uh, pot of water on for about an hour and a half, and I am able to consistently keep a temperature at under 140 degrees. So you can even use a pot. Another thing you're going to need is a good cut of meat. I'm using tri-tip in this application, but that's pretty much all that you need. I'm going to suggest that if you plan on actually cooking in this method that you try to use one of these, you know, either use a pot or a crock pot or something first before you go and spend all the money on the machine just to make sure that it's something that you want to do. So we're going to be doing tri-tip. I'm going to kind of walk you through the steps and hopefully you find this enjoyable. See you back in a bit. We are back. I have my machine that I'm going to be doing my cook in warming up right now like I said I can dial in the temperature on this particular one but we're gonna do first is we are going to season this beef I am just spilling stuff all over the place I am using a spice that I was actually it was given to me by a, a friend of mine that I'd done some business with this is just a, a beef rub that actually he got made at a place in Denver called the Savory Spice Company which actually is a, a pretty good place. So I'm going to season this. Without trying to get it everywhere except I'm not sure if that's going to work. I did have a little olive oil on it earlier but I don't know if that's holding. Alright, so there we go as far as the seasoning. Now the, the main thing that we're going to want to do is we are going, you're going to have to vacuum seal this and you're going to have to vacuum seal it well. There cannot be any gaps in this seal. So as you can tell, I am getting moisture on this lip here. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go ahead and wash my hands and get this thing sealed up. If you have a vacuum sealer at home, you probably know what I'm, I'm talking about. If not, and you're trying to do this method, just give it up until you get a vacuum sealer. If nothing else, get a vacuum sealer to save you money on all the stuff that you buy. The vacuum sealer I bought has saved me hundreds if not thousands of dollars. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm the cheapest person I know. Anyway, I'm going to seal this up. We'll be back in a bit. Right, guys. So I have my tri-tip vacuum sealed. What I did was I put about six pads of butter in there. So when it's cooking in this water bath, it's going to kind of melt down and all that deliciousness is going to go in there. So I personally have this uh, crock pot roaster that I could dial the temperature in on. I have tested this and the temperature seems to be right where I need it to be. On the bottom side of this, there's a fan, so that actually will rotate my water a little bit. I think for practical purposes, if you're just getting into sous vide, I think a water, you know, a pan, or a, not a pan, a, a pot full of water will work if you can get the temperature where you need it to be. And that's what I'm going to suggest if you're just starting. So I have my, I have my beef here. If you have a vacuum sealer, which you're going to need for this, I put two seals on this uh, 
just to make sure that if one seal broke, it's not going to get through the second seal. So I'm going to get this into my water bath. Now there's going to be, uh, I'm going to put a link to a, a website in the description that's going to kind of walk you through how long to cook things. Also, I'm going to put a link to uh, James Strange's website in here. He does sous vide technique a bit, so I'm going to put a, a link to his uh, webpage in the uh, description as well. Anyway, now we're just going to let this thing go for about four hours. I'm going to go to Walmart, do a bunch of other stuff, and uh, we'll check you out in a bit. See you then. It's been about four hours, four and a half hours, somewhere in that neighborhood. I took this uh, tri-tip out of the vacuum sealed bag that was uh, in my sous vide cooker or should I say my AKA sous vide cooker and now I'm going to brown it on both sides. I'm particularly choosing this Dutch oven type deal because I don't want as much oil splashing outside of it. So I'm going to get this in here, it's still splashing outside. And I'm going to get that for about three minutes on each side. And then we should be good to go. And once we're good to go, you're going to see what's up. And we're going to be done with this. And really, I'm just trying to prove that you can do this method without spending all that money on these machines. We'll see you back in a few minutes. Here, this thing on both sides for about five minutes. I'm going to go ahead and set it on my cutting board and let that kind of cool off a minute. I'm not going to cut it immediately because I don't want all the juices to run out of it. So I'm going to let that sit for about five minutes and I'm going to go ahead and start cutting that bad boy up. And really what I'm going to do with it is we've cut up some onions, uh, peppers, you know, jalapeno peppers and some tomatoes and we're just going to kind of go with uh, that as kind of a salsa and then we're going to just eat it kind of like tacos. So anyway, we'll see you back when I start cutting. Are you paying attention? Alright, so this tri-tip has been resting for about five minutes and now we are going to go ahead and start cutting it. I'm going to cut it on a bias which for you hippies means we're going to cut it on an angle and you can tell right now at the bat that this is cooked to perfection. Also, if you look at this plate here, here's kind of going to be what we're going to go ahead and eat with this tri-tip. So anyway, I'm going to finish cutting this up and get stuff ready to eat for some tacos and then we're going to we're going to take a final taste test on that then. See you back in a bit. Alright, so I've cooked this thing to perfection. And I'm not going to lie. I mean, you could take a look at that. I want to thank James Strange. He's the one that kind of helped me with that. We got that thing cooked like I cannot believe. Anyway, we're doing tacos. So I do have some... Tomatoes, peppers, and onions that are here. And that's gonna be what's for my final taste test, but it doesn't even need that. This thing is this stuff tastes so good that it doesn't need anything. I could eat that plain. Anyway, here you go. Thanks for stopping by No Hippie Barbecue. Comment, subscribe, holler at your boy. That's, that's, that's so good. I can't even believe it. Seriously.